Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today I'm showing you how I install an Arduino-based streetlight circuit on my layout. Okay, before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates, including ones about contests. Okay, so what we have here is the dumbed-down version of what my streetlight circuit is. Now I showed you how to create that streetlight circuit in the previous video and I will link that up here as well as down in the description below. Now I'm not going to go through the rewiring but I will say that I do solder my connections. This is an Arduino Nano. It's like a tiny tiny version of an Arduino Uno. It has most of the same connections. They're just a little bit cheaper and I tend to like to use them more, but they do require a little bit more work. So if you are uncomfortable with using this and soldering and picking up like that, I recommend still using the Arduino Uno. There's no real difference in terms of performance here. So what we have here is we have all these connections. Now you'll notice that I have a lot of the same color wiring. And I'm doing that to save money so I don't have to buy a bunch of different wires. Now one thing that I do to help mark my wires is I wrap them with a little electrical tape so that I can see which ones are which. Now what I have here is I have a DC power connection soldered up and that comes with the DC power supplies that I recommend and that's in the description below. Then I have a ground connection right here and then I have, and then I have my power connection right here then I have my digital pin right here and my analog sensor pin right there and those all run to here. Now here we have the digital power pin that's going to our street light right here. Then we have our ground wire that comes out of here and you can see I have it connected to our street light and I also have it connected through a resistor to our photoresistor which I showed you guys how to do. And then this is the five volt power that is coming to our photoresistor. Now, you can see that I do not have a resistor in the LED street lamp circuit. I don't wanna put one in just yet until I have figured out how many street lights I'm gonna have and what kind of resistor I need. So at some point I will do that and I will put that in on the power circuit if I need it. If I have a lot of street lights, it's gonna be drawing a lot of power and it may not necessarily need that resistor. So let's go ahead and show you how I install this on my layout. If you are uncomfortable with soldering, there are Arduino Nanos that do come with these pins that can work with the jumper wires that we use in all of our tutorials. So just be on the lookout for those and make sure that they have those connections. And most of the Arduino Nanos and Unos for that matter come with these little jumper pins right here that you can attach to it, but they do have Arduino Nanos with pins that you can attach without soldering. Okay, so we're gonna install our terminal onto our support leg right here, and I have a screw, and we're just going to take one screw, we're gonna drive it in. So you may be wondering how this is able to hold right here and hold all the circuitry up. I'm using solid wiring, which is a lot more rigid than braided wiring, and that is how it's holding everything up. Now in the end, I did find that when I plugged in the DC power supply, it caused the entire apparatus to sag. So I did use some super glue to attach everything and make it more permanent and stable. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the street light and the photoresistor from the test position so we can go ahead and begin the install of those up on the layout. One thing I do is I do always solder my light connections. I know that soldering is something that can be intimidating to some people, so some alternatives to this are heat shrink wrapping when you twist the wires together, do a little bit of heat shrink, and you can also use electrical tape as well. Soldering is the most bulletproof way though. Okay, so we are going to install our first street light right here by the station. I thought that was a neat place to put it since stations are 24 hour places. You never know when a train's gonna come through. So we're gonna install it right here. We're just gonna go ahead and drill gently right here. So there's our initial hole. Now that we have our hole drilled, we can go ahead and thread our wires through it. Now 
Once we get close to where the solder joiners are, I go ahead and wrap them in electrical tape so that we don't risk any sort of short circuit inside the table. Then I pull the wires through one at a time so that they don't get jammed up. Now I know what you're thinking. That hole is way too big to be covered by the bottom of that lamppost. And you'd be correct. We're going to put the lamppost in a slightly different position. So we're going to take a little dab of super glue and put it right here. And then we're going to install our lamp right there. And now we just need to let it dry in place. We're going to install the photoresistor that will tell us when to turn the street lights on the fascia board. To do this, we need to drill two small holes in the fascia board. As we can see, the photoresistor has two leads, which is what these two holes are going to go through. We're going to connect them using prototyping jumper wires. With a little bit of super glue adhered to the back, we're going to thread those two leads up through the hole so that we can connect them to our Arduino. We then attach two leads to those jumpers. We'll use electrical tape to hold them in place. We can now attach all of our wires. All right, everyone, we have the light installed and we have the sensor installed on the fascia panel. And we've put the fascia panel back on and uh, we have power running to the lights. So let's see what happens when I block light from the sensor. And you can see that the lights come on. Now you can see while I was at it, I installed a second street light as well. So that's how I install these automatic street lights on my model railroad. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.